Hey, so a lot of people want to know how I'm going to make low-cost meals. Well, I'll tell you, this is an incredibly low-cost meal. Let me show you what I have. Now, I have taken a can of chickpeas, and I have blended them up in my blender with half of an onion. With that, I've added a mashed potato. I had it extra in my fridge, so I threw that in. One egg, a cup of panko crumbs, and some seasonings I like. Coriander, cumin, oregano, maybe a little basil, can't remember, and some garlic powder. Now you could use fresh garlic if you like. Then I added the potatoes and also some carrots that were already cooked. I smashed them up and I'd say maybe it was about one potato. Now I wrote down the entire container right here is only 755 calories for it all. Now I'm going to add some oil to the pan and I'm going to add that to my calories and see how much I actually have to use and how many little falafel or chickpea burgers I will have when I'm done. So I'm just going to take my olive oil and I'm going to start because I don't know how many that's going to make. I haven't done this in a long, long time. One tablespoon of oil is a hundred calories of any oil, generally speaking. And I'm going to put this up to a six and I'm going to roll that around to get all of this all over the pan. Heat that up a bit. Let me grab a spatula, maybe. Help me spread that oil out. And I already have some leftover um, carb counter uh, wraps, I guess you'd call it, whole wheat wrap. And that's what I'm going to put my finished falafel in. I'll figure out the calories of... Uh, now, the cost of this, if, if this whole thing is $2 for the entire three cups of chickpea burger mix, I'll tell you, I'd be very, very surprised. So this is $2 for many, many meals. And I have two different size ice cream scoops. Um, because I want to make um, a wrap, I'm going to use the smaller scoop. I'm just going to take about this much. I'm going to pat it down to look like that. Because I'm probably going to want a couple of different falafel wraps as I do this. And I'd say, well, I really don't know what I'll be um, putting into each wrap because I've got to figure out, knowing that this is 755 calories, and I just, um, I'm not going to add, well, I could add, you know, you're not going to use all that oil, that that tablespoon necessarily because a lot of it is stuck on the edges and stuff like that. Now I can also, if I have any left, make a couple of good sized burgers as well. Let me take a little extra and I'm just taking that little round mound and patting it down patting it down and straightening its edges out. So this is not a low carb meal. It is going to be a low fat meal and that's a good thing. I just last night I had boiled some carrots and potatoes to go with a, a fish patty even last night or the night before I can't remember and um, I thought to myself, hey, you know, I could add 
some of those vegetables in there. See how pretty that is with the colors? And gosh, you can put anything else you want, whatever type of uh, aromatic vegetables you love. It's your recipe, and you can do whatever you want. And you can add as much panko or breadcrumbs or anything that will dry it up a bit so that it stays formed. You don't want it to be so wet. Mine was very wet, and that's why I added a whole cup of panko crumbs. Okay, so this is what we have going. How many are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I would imagine three or four will be plenty for um, each wrap. So maybe I'll put two more of these into, oops, sorry, you can't see the pan that way. I'm going to put two more in this pan. And that way, I have enough for, let's say I want to do four in a falafel, I'll have three lunches out of those. And I still have so much falafel left, at least two burgers are represented in what's left there. So these are coming along quite nicely. They're goldening up on one side, and I'm doing it on the other side. Now, it would be easier to just pat them down like I did, of course, on a grease cookie sheet and put them in the oven. That would be very easy. I'm doing it on the stove top because it's hot here today, and I, I don't want to um, heat up the house more than it's already heated up. So I'm not going to use any more oil. The pan is pretty well seasoned. Now I'm going to do probably like a scoop and a half. And I'm going to make a larger patty that can go on bread or a bun. Oh my, there goes some down on the floor. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this can't <laughs> instead you get to see my elbow oh what do we got here what do we have here I'm just gonna use my fingers throw that in the sink and then I'm gonna gather all of the rest of this up for the second bur burger okay so I've got if I use only three smaller patties chickpea patties in the um, bread that I want to make a sandwich with, then I'm going to have a total of, uh, what did I say? Okay, three, um, twelve, three. Actually, this is, this is actually eight servings, isn't it? Jeepers. So, you got and, and even with everything I'm going to use with it, we're talking about a dollar per serving. That's with the wrap, with some lettuce, with some dressing. I'm going to show you in just a minute. So I have these bigger patties here. They're nice for a sandwich, you know lunchtime or whatever, just on regular bread, or you could do um, a hamburger roll, use whole wheat if you want to be healthier, and that sort of thing. Good. I didn't shut it off by accident. So this is what I have. Oops. It's a sliding. I decided on three patties with lettuce and tomato, and I'm going to put a teaspoon of any type of dressing on it. This comes out to about a dollar a serving and only 213 calories for lunch. Isn't that beautiful? Now you can add anything you want. If you want to do fried onions and fried peppers, you can do anything you want. A slice of fried eggplant. Sorry rapture prepping, but I do like eggplant. It would go so lovely. Um, with the falafel, though, as I've said before, I really can't taste, but I do love textures, and that's my low-calorie, 
low-budget lunch. See you soon.